I'm the founder and CEO of Salman Media, which runs Brain Gain Magazine, uh, which was primarily targeted at students from India and South Asia that go abroad to study. It's a free information resource for the students. <coughs> Could we maybe get a sense from where parents and students, and I'd like some of the school principals and counselors to share their thoughts, because where do you think there's a disconnect with students? Do they not get enough research, or do they, for them it's, you know, I want to get to the best college, and, yeah. and they usually, if with dubious agents, you're not getting to the best college, clearly not the colleges around this table. Uh, so, maybe. Uh, I, I, but it. the reality is, uh, the aspirations and the strengths don't match with the students. Yes. And uh, pardon me if I'm not politically correct. It's very difficult to be if you have to speak the truth. There is always a shortcut which kind of exists in the society. People right. believe it exists. And that's where we have the support that arises in our society. And ethics, no ethics, is that the whole purpose of the entire program is to get where you want to get, no matter what the means are. I've worked in Asia and in the Middle East also, where parents who send their kids to international schools really ha don't know anything about how to get into American universities. Because all of these schools, all of these systems, traditionally what the parents have had to do was, it was everything was based on your exam scores and that's it. Nothing else mattered, right? No continuous assessments, no extracurricular activities, none of that. So they have to trust somebody who tells them how to do it. They don't have any other way of knowing how to, how to crack this system. Plus they've only ever heard of Harvard, Cambridge, Oxford, you know, name brand schools and they don't know that there are good options so out there. The idea is that information is available, students usually don't know where to get it, and they resort to sometimes inappropriate means where they only get skewed information. They'll, they'll be pushed to go to a college and study there even if the college doesn't offer the course you're interested in. And sometimes the agents might convince you that the course you want to study is not right for you and push you into something else because obviously they're getting commissions out of it, it's a business. So the idea is to try and look out for quality, unbiased information, and it is available. And there are organizations trying to deliver that to schools, to universities. So I'm meeting a lot of parents with kids two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five, six, seven years old. And what I sense a huge difference is, uh, compared to Sweden is that the Indian families are in such a hurry. Yes. <laughs> uh, they have to make the dec decisions when the kids are 14, 15. Mm -hmm. They have to get into university when they are 17. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's a catastrophe. And life expectancy today is close to 100. <laughs> <laughs> What's the yeah. hurry? Yeah. Stop and think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, There's evidence of a dearth of lack of training and writing. That uh, many applications uh, we would receive. Uh, we, 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 could, we wouldn't even consider them immediately because of the letter, their letter of application. And, and I found myself several years ago teaching at a school uh, in Cornetica where I was asked to, to guide some uh, postgraduate theses. And it was the first serious writing they had ever done. It was the first, I mean, a master's thesis in the U.S. is a, is, is a bear. <laughs> In, in most cases, and, and they were uh, being asked to write a thesis for the first time they had ever really written a serious academic research paper. And these were good students, they were smart students. It wasn't their fault, in my view, it wasn't their fault, it's that they had not been provided guidance, adequate guidance in that regard prior to them finishing up their program. So writing is, is critical and must be given priority. Uh, a lot of times I thought the student is very bright, speaks good English, and I had every reason to think we'd get admitted, and they wouldn't be admitted. And when I asked later why not, it was often that they couldn't detect that the student would really learn from NYU, that there wasn't going to be a relationship in which the student grew. Uh, so it, they were qualified, they had the scores, they had the ambition, in fact, one girl said, NYU is my dream school, I want to be here. Well, she almost lost by saying my dream school because it implied a kind of superficial yeah. desire to be yeah. there mm -hmm. versus a knowledgeable desire.
So that was one. So critical thinking, uh, especially, and then it often shows up just in an inability to be uh, a questioning person. <laughs> it's an interesting balance. Uh, quite often not willing to explain themselves well enough. That is, they're, they're modest, so they feel like they can't say who they are. And I say in America, at least you can say who you are, what you believe in. Thank you all for being here.